Are there specific competition shooting habits which could be detrimental in a real world scenario and how can shooters without your level of experience avoid them? Shooting fast. Shooting fast is detrimental in a, a real world situation because you are able to track your gun and pull the trigger faster than you can receive visual or auditory input from the subject that you are applying deadly force to when that, those conditions change. Uh, so for example, uh, if you shoot a guy in the head and you plan to shoot him three times fast, pow, 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 and you shoot him right through the medulla and, and cut the marionette string and his body slumps faster than you can process through your optic that that guy is going down. There's a difference between getting hurt and, oh, and falling over because you're still controlling yourself to the ground and, and the immediate termination of all electro impulses to the human body. Uh, when a guy goes immediate ragdoll, the speed at which gravity takes over and that person's chassis collapses to the ground is scary. It is scary how fast that human soul left that body. Like, it's still to this day, like it shouldn't, it's still to this day trips me out when I see a dude get, get, their, uh, get their strings cut. So you're shooting faster than the guy's body is now falling based upon gravity. Your eyes have to process that there's something changing, which is the dude falling. And then it has to send the neural path, the neural transmissions down to your body. Keep the dot on the head, fucker. And then your muscles have to move in real time with the constant visual update of where your red dot is in order to track someone or shoot someone to the ground. And uh, if you're firing in real time, nope, you are going to shoot where they were, not where they are. So you're going to send three. The first is going to blow the dude's medulla out. The second might part his hair, might be a total miss. And the third is going to be into a void of space where that dude's melon used to occupy. When we talk about target to target transitions, and I talk, uh, I will talk about it some more, but I've already talked about it. Uh, when you are shooting target to target, in a competition, you cannot let your gun settle. So you punch out and you have to shoot a pair on a target. You are firing. And as the gun is resting, coming, breaking back down somewhere into the C zone, you're commanding it to fire again. And as it recoils, you are done with that target. So on the bang of the second shot, the gun tracks up and right if you're a righty and you're using that recoil to drive the gun over to the second uh, target. So if we're firing an El Prez, you're going to get six sight pictures on six shots. If you are a uh, tactical shooter and you've been taught, given any instruction about follow through, uh, if you shoot an El Prez, it's going to be bang, hit. Settle, bang, hit, settle, be prepared to take a third shot, move, bang, bang, settle, move, bang, bang, settle, move. You're conducting follow through on target A, target B, and target C. Maybe not on target C if you feel the slide lock because you're going to bring it in and start to do work if you're working on a slide lock reload. So that's why tactical dudes are slow as shit on El Prez. Because we're simulating, I have to shoot to reassess. Yep, move, shoot to reassess. Yep. And so we're subconsciously programming tactical thought into a game. The gamers didn't ask for no reassess. They didn't ask for no shoot it till it goes down. They told you shoot the motherfucker twice. That's the rules of the game. So dwelling on a target after the second bullet leaves the barrel is wasted time. And Jerry Micklick looked at me and he goes, you know that if you pull up an, a, 
uh, a third sight picture, you might as well just pull the trigger. What are your splits? Uh, my splits are two, two, zero, two, one. Yeah. So you're throwing at least a half second, at least, or uh, a uh, tenth of a second, excuse me, half of that. You're wasting a tenth of a second acquiring your red dot again after you fire that weapon. So that's a tenth of a second, a tenth of a second, a tenth of a second on the first three, and then a tenth of a second, a tenth of a second, a tenth of a second on the second three engagements on the El Prez drill. You had 0.6 seconds of follow through in that run. It's done. First target's done. Bang, bang, done. Bang, bang, done. Bang, bang, done. And uh, so to get a four second El Prez, to compete with these guys that are shooting enthusiasts and think that fucking games are the end of the world. If you want to beat them at their own game, you have to fundamentally deconstruct everything that would keep you out of jail and alive in a real gunfight. You got to take that, take all that. Oh, that's real world shit. And if you don't have the mental processor to be able to, after all of these reps of no follow through and no shot accountability and no target feedback from the enemy about whether or not they're still there. If you can do that competing and then when it's time perform, then good on you. Then competition is nothing but a positive and you should do as much of it as you can. But if you're too dumb to figure out that, if I practice this and practice this and practice this and practice this and I'm not practicing some of this over here and I don't have the processor speed to figure out which which one I should be doing, then I'm going to screw this up when it comes comes real time. Uh, then, then competition's going to hurt you. So uh, I, I don't think that someone dabbling in competition and not not really – Peeling back the layers of the onion and breaking, like, where can I get another hundredth of a second? Oh, this guy does this, and then mimicking that guy for a thousand reps. As long as you're not doing that, dabbling in competition is okay. But if you think you're going to win some competition, you got to be in an entirely different mindset that is devoid of anything real world. And you just have to embrace it for what it is and go after it. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs>